Hi, this is a before post. I just want to explain what it feels like to be hypothyroid. At my last appointment, because my TSH was very suppressed, the endocrinologist decided to lower my dose, which is very reasonable, perfectly understandable, but I waited a week before going to the lower dose so that I wouldn't have to deal with feeling like this last week going into finals week. Um, after a week of being on this new lower dose, I'm now on 125 micrograms, I feel miserable. And the biggest thing I want to tell you is just the changes in sleep. Um, most people know that hypothyroidism causes fatigue, weight gain, swelling, um, and all kinds of issues, but the problems with sleep are really not well understood. A lot of people think that you only have issues with sleep if you're hyper or if you have high thyroid hormone, and that's not there are differences. So when I was hyperthyroid, when I was on TSH suppression and my dose was higher, when your thyroid levels are too high, it's difficult to fall asleep because you're just overstimulated and wound up and it's hard to relax enough to fall asleep. But when you do fall asleep, you sleep well and you feel refreshed. So you can feel fine on six or seven hours of sleep a night sometimes. But when you're hypothyroid, it's very easy to fall asleep. You can sit down and fall asleep hopefully not fall asleep while you're driving. It's, it's difficult not to fall asleep, but you don't stay asleep. And the sleep quality is very, very poor. So you could sleep 10, 12 hours and only feel like you've slept four. Or have the problem that I've been having this past week that where I've been waking up with um, low blood sugar. And, and that's miserable. So I wake up anywhere between 12 and 3, and when I wake up, my heart's pounding, I'm sweating, I'm nervous, my mind's racing 100 miles an hour, and it takes maybe two or three hours to get back to sleep. So if this happens at 3 o'clock, and I, I'm lucky enough to fall back to sleep at 5, well, that's the time I normally have to get up anyway. So, you know, a few nights of that, and you're just completely wiped out. Anyway, I just want to say that when you're hypothyroid, it's difficult to get good quality sleep. If you're hyperthyroid, it's difficult to fall asleep in the first place. So let me tell you about some changes that I've noticed within the past week of being on this lower dose. I've gained 15 pounds in one week. You can tell by looking at my face. That's why I wanted to do this today, even though I feel miserable. I have some bald spots in my hair. I try to cover up. Sometimes they're filled in better. Um, you can tell by looking at my face that it's very puffy and swollen. My eyebrows, the lateral third is gone. A lot of swelling around the eyes, around the jawline. I can't take off my, my ring. My fingers are just too swollen right now. Ankles are swollen. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm swollen. I'm cold. Oh man, I'm freezing. <laughs> I've been cranking the heat up, wearing blankets, drinking hot tea. Um... Oh, and the other thing is, is just the change in diet, too. So when you're tired, at least for me, it's really easy to crave sweets and overdo caffeine. You're just looking for anything for a little energy boost. So that has started this pattern of eating in a way that I shouldn't, eating more sugar than I should. And when I say more sugar, it doesn't take much. A cup of applesauce is too much sugar for me um, because then I'm up and down all day long, Energy-wise, and the little tiny boost of energy I may get from, from sugar, some sugar is just short-lived and absolutely not worth it because then I crash even harder, just leaving me more tired. Same thing with caffeine. Initially, it helps, and then you get to a point where it's just not doing anything. I also want to talk about socializing when you're hypothyroid. That aspect is exhausting, too. It's, it's difficult even just to carry on a conversation with your friend because you can't even think straight. You can't even remember what you were talking about. And, you know, anything that I've done within these past couple of days, I have to just pretty much put it away, take a nap, and come back to it when I feel better because I know that nothing that I've done these past couple of days is right. I am just too exhausted to concentrate, to focus, to remember, and to get it right at this point. So bottom line is that I have all of these hypothyroid symptoms about a week after going to the lower dose. 
and I want to experiment with a change in my diet to see how I feel. I'm already taking a ton of vitamins. I don't know if I'm absorbing them very well right now, so I don't expect that I have any vitamin deficiencies. But what I want to do is make a large change in my diet and then do an after video and report to you if it helps with my energy, if it helps with my um, with my moods, with my sleep, with my activity, uh, with the amount of swelling, with the amount of weight that I've gained, if I'm able to function on the lower dose by changing my diet. And uh, just let you know how I feel at that point. Thanks.